Barbarica Barbarica, a furious warrior who could have ended the great war of Mahabharat in just a minute. Surprised? I know, you must be thinking how. Who was he? Well, let's know. Barbarika was the son of Khatotkaj and the grandson of Hidimba and Bhim. From the childhood itself, Barbarika was a very courageous boy. His mother, Mata Ahilvati, taught him the art of warfare. Even with Barbarika's penance, Lord Shiva granted him three meticulous arrows as a boon. Hence, he was honored as bearer of the three arrows. Later, Agni Dev gave him a bow which was capable to mark his victory in the three worlds. Now it was time for the Mahabharat war, but before it began, Lord Krishna asked all the warriors that in how many days they alone can end the war. Bhishma, Dronacharya, Kard, Arjun and all the warriors replies to finish the war alone between 20 to 30 days. Krishna and Pandav brothers already knew that Barbarika was going to participate in the war with his three arrows. Pandav brothers agreed to ask Barbarika to stay away from the war, but Krishna disagreed. He knew that Barbarika would not let go of this opportunity to prove himself as the most furious warrior. Krishna then decided to manage the situation in his own way. The Conversation Between Brahmin and Barbarika The omnipresent Krishna, disguised as a Brahmin, stopped Barbarika to examine his strength. He baited Barbarika by mocking him to going to the great battle with only three arrows. On this, Barbarika replied that a single arrow was enough to destroy all his opponents in the war and it would then return to his quarrel. If all the three were used, it would create havoc in the three worlds. Krishna challenged him to tie all the leaves of the people tree under which he was standing with one arrow. Barbarika accepted the challenge, removed one arrow from his quiver and released it from his bow. The arrow tied all the leaves together within moments. However, Krishna was held one leaf under his foot and the arrow started revolving around it. Krishna then asked the boy whom he would favor in the war. Barbarika revealed that he intended to fight for whichever side appeared set to lose. Krishna knew that the defeat of Kauravs was inevitable. He judged that if this brave boy joins their side, the results would then tilt in their favor. The Brahmin then sought charity from the warrior. Barbarika promised him anything he wished. Krishna asked him to give his head in charity. Barbarika was shocked. Perceiving that all was not as it appeared, he requested the Brahmin to disclose his real identity. Krishna showed Barbarika a vision of his divine form and Barbarika was thus praised. Krishna then explained to him that before a battle, the head of the previous Kshatriya needs to be sacrificed in order to worship or sanctify the battlefield. Krishna said that he considered Barbarika to be the previous among Kshatriyas and was hence asking for his head in charity. In fulfillment of his promise and his compliance with Lord's command, Barbarika gave his head to Krishna in charity. This happened on the twelfth day of Shukla Paksha of the month of Palgun. 
Krishna, pleased with Barbarika's great sacrifice, granted him a boon that when Kaliyug descends, he would be worshipped by the name of Sham in his form. His devotees would be blessed just by pronouncing his name from the bottom of their hearts. Before dissipating himself, Barbarika told Krishna of his great desire to view the forthcoming battle and requested him to facilitate it. Krishna agreed and placed the head atop of hill overlooking the battlefield. From the hills, the head of Barbarika watched the whole battle. At the end of the battle, the victorious Pandav brothers argued amongst themselves as to who was responsible for the victory. Said that Barbarika's head, which had watched the whole battle, should be allowed to judge. Barbarika's head suggested that it was Krishna alone who was responsible for the victory. His advice, his presence, his game plan had been crucial. Barbarika's head said that he had seen the Sudarshan Chakra revolving around the battlefield taking the Kauravs army to pieces and Draupadi assuming the full form of Mahakali Durga, drinking bowl after bowl of blood without allowing anyone to open the ball of the earth. When Barbarika learned that battle between the Pandavs and the Kauravs had become inevitable, he wanted to witness what was the Mahabharat war. He promised his mother that if he felt the urge to participate in the battle, he would join the side which would be losing. He rode to the field of his blue horse, equipped with his three arrows and bow. 